Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. So uh, <laughs> today I'm gonna be doing a post lap band update video. It has been a few months since I've done an update on my lap band. And for those of you that just joined my channel, I do have a lap band, so I am a WLS patient, a weight loss surgery patient. I got banded January 29th of 2013. So this January coming up, is gonna be two years so this is a month 23 post lap band update I'm not gonna do weeks because let me be honest me and math we're not friends um <laughs> now I I, geez, I don't even know what to say because sorry I haven't made a video in so long because there obviously hasn't been any progression those of you that watch my videos and met me through the WLS you know pay you know not page but if you met me through the my WLS post and my videos for my lap band and stuff like that you guys know I do beauty so you can tell from my face that I haven't lost any weight and I'm I've actually gained and I'm here to be honest and answer any questions that you may have and I know I haven't made a video in a while and I apologize because I know some of you enjoy watching those videos because I, I'm a little bit more candid than I am on in my beauty videos because beauty is straight to the point this is what we do yada yada that's it um here I have to kind of get more personal sometimes I've gotten emotional this is just a hot mess and I really don't I don't know I guess I've closed myself off, to be honest. Um, I do keep in touch with some of my lap band bitches, some of my lap band ladies, and you know, I miss them so much sometimes because life sucks and life, you know, takes over, whatever. But I do still have the support of my friends, and there's a lot of people that know I'm banded, and I'm pretty open with it because if you see me going like this while I'm eating, I kind of feel like I have to explain why I'm doing this you know, or getting stuck. So I do still get stuck. I think I have a 10cc allergen band and I want to say from what I can remember I have 6.25 or 6.5 cc's in my band. So I am pretty decently filled. I can probably use a fill. Um, I've got, I think I've received one unfill that I can remember. I think I've gotten one unfill. No, two, because I ended up in the hospital months ago, and I think that was my last update when I had a scare. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had to add unfills. With this kind of procedure, you kind of have to learn to work with your band. This is a tool. I can't stress that enough. Um, I feel like I failed as a patient, as a weight loss surgery patient, or as a lap bander. But in reality, I obviously haven't. I can literally pick up in the next hour and start getting on the grind and doing what I have to do but let's be real here I'm stubborn as hell and I like chocolate um so yeah I'm sure this is another scramble brain of my videos you guys have to expect this if you've watched my lap band videos I am all over the place um, so yes I don't know I decided to make one because I talked to ginger hi ginger I lures you and I talked to Danielle a lot and Jen Hi Jen, hi Brad, love you long time. I talk to them, you know, periodically and I feel awful because they are constantly on the grind, still doing videos, maybe not as often, but uh, I know Danielle does weekly videos and she's expecting a baby and Jen and Brad still do their weekly videos and Ginger still does more videos than I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just felt bad not updating anyone. I do get asked a lot if I still do the videos, which is kind of shocking because I didn't think that many people cared or watched in a sense not cared it's kind of mean um but yeah pretty much uh, i don't know i failed so far i failed i have gained um i got as low as losing 64 pounds from you know my heaviest which is a great feat and you could definitely tell on my face you could definitely tell them some parts of my some parts of my body and I've went ahead and gained 27 pounds <laughs> from, I want to say, maybe from March or April. After, after my trip from New York, I started noticing that I was gaining more weight, but my stressors were even higher. And I was working a lot at the time when, you know, I was getting ready for New York in April. So I wasn't focused too much on eating shit. I was just working so much, making sure I ate and burning the calories and doing what I had to do. But I think I started gaining a lot of weight, like right after April. Um, 
my stressors got a lot worse um, nothing's really changed like I feel like I'm in the same rut that I've been since the beginning and I don't want to be that way anymore but I had to take it step by step I'm just glad that I still have my lap band and I still have my tool to use and it's it's no joke like I I of course take care of people I, I work in a hospital setting so there's people that I see that have these procedures done that even even after having this procedure done we all have questions so you know everyone kind of wants to know each other's experiences and I'm so happy to share that with um, my friends my patients you know whoever asks I'm happy to share with um, so I, I definitely tell everyone this is gonna be the hardest journey that you have ever done in your life um, getting there is great um, seeing the progression is you know it's it's life changing it's different but it's once you get settled that is the hardest for me and I would think for a lot of people to get used to because once you get settled you start gaining you kind of try to bump it down you start losing a little bit but you kind of fluctuate and you have to stay on the grind and you have to stay motivated and once you lose that motivation you're gonna end up like me <laughs> so even if you get the gastric bypass the sleeve the VSG or if you get the lap band or lap band replication, um, the weight loss might differ from each surgery in the length that it that you lose it. But once you plateau, which happens with every surgery, you just have to stay on the grind, which is easier said than done. Preaching to the choir, choir which is myself. So I, I really haven't done any updates because I'm a little embarrassed. I have nothing to say, nothing to update you guys. <laughs> you guys know me and vitamins don't get along if you watch my other videos. So I haven't been taking vitamins. I sure as hell I'm nowhere near getting the protein intake that I need. I think once I start getting the protein intake that I need, which is 60 to 90 grams of protein a day, um, that my body will start kicking in like it used to and I'll start losing the weight and then I'll feel more energy to work out or to move around a lot more than I have been lately. So stressors don't play a good part on that um life doesn't play a good part on that and the holidays suck at <laughs> playing a good part on that so many goodies out there so yes um i really miss you guys when it comes to me being candid and stuff but i also kind of put up this wall because i just I don't know like I feel like I failed and I don't want to feel that way you know and I don't want to come off as oh you know once you stop losing weight you're a failure no I just feel like I have stopped I've not stopped caring but I just have stopped I don't know just motivating myself and you know I get it in my head for one day and I'm good one day and then the next day it goes to shit <laughs> it just happens so um oh my god my eyes are like tearing up something serious so I'm not trying to get emotional, but excuse me, this is this has been happening all night. I filmed a few videos, so that's why I have the vampy lips, because I kind of had to switch off the lips. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm, I'm open to questions. I'm open to making specific videos. If you may have um, specific questions, I can do a Q&A on my lap band journey. So far, it's freaking slow. And I know it would be faster if I was just motivated and following the rules and treating myself right. So I'm taking complete blame on the matter itself because this tool is inside of me and I feel like I'm at a good place where I should be able to do it, but it's the motivation behind it. So that's where I lack. So I don't know. I mean, I my the best advice I can give to anyone, especially during the holidays with this lap band, is to kind of make sure you're doing what you need to do and it's okay to indulge I feel like when we deprive ourselves so much we end up kind of sinning more <laughs> in a sense or we end up kind of like more doing more damage than good and I think once your body hears the word diet or something it kind of like stop let me load up on carbs or let me load up on the fats and hide everything so I feel like you know you have to be take it easy on yourself but still stay motivated enough keep your protein intake keep motivation and also enjoy a little bit of eggnog here a little piece of cheesecake there I don't know moderation I'm gonna admit it and it's a work in progress so for this year <laughs> coming up I need to work on 
getting my protein intake which is very very important because my hair is thinning I mean it, it looks okay but I notice it thinning my nails are growing really really fast but I think it's because it's like on starvation mode I do try to get in protein but I'm barely at the 60 gram mark and I really want to hit at least almost 90 a day so some days I get 60 some days I get 40 so I'm like really really low on the protein intake so that's something that I definitely want to work on for the new year I'm not on that new year new me bullshit either so that stuff doesn't fly with me so but yeah um it's kind of a long update I'm rambling but this is pretty much it I'm gonna be two years out of surgery being post lap band and um it's hard it's not easy and I totally admire my friends that have succeeded with the lap band. I know some friends of mine have had to get a revision from the lap band to the sleeve. And I love you guys, but I hate when you guys feel like you failed as lap band patients. No, you were successful. It's just that at some time, the band just stopped working for you and your body. So... That's kind of what the message I wanted to put out there today too. So that's pretty much it guys. A 10 plus minute video of me rambling about how I failed the lap band so far. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a happy and safe holiday. And um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.